sleep good guys last night I had a lot of anxiety um I'm about to go to the gym <laughs> and my gym anxiety right now is like top tier so I had actually uploaded my vlog last night just like my weekend in my life vlog I had spent the weekend with my mom finally took a day off went to the gym vlogged a little bit there and it was a really weird session for me and the thing is I think two people had actually pointed this out in the vlog that they saw a creepy guy in the mirror that was staring at me and I didn't even know that you could see him in the mirror when I was editing and uploading that vlog I saw that guy through the cable machine while I was trying to do my workout and that's why the clip just ends and I leave the gym because people like that always make me feel uncomfortable and that's not the first time that that's happened to me I've been in the gym for a month and there are few people that I memorize that I just need to run from and I adjust my schedule and I don't go to the gym at the same time every day because I don't want to run into those same freaking people and I don't know like I literally do certain things to make myself feel comfortable like I'm wearing a flannel I wear a flannel to the gym and why do I want to wear a flannel to the gym I don't it's so freaking hot it's an extra layer that I don't want to wear but guess what it covers my body in a way where I feel more comfortable doing a lower body workout even yesterday when I went to the gym oh there's a jeep gang gang um I wore a hat I had a full mask I had a full-blown outfit and I just want to feel invisible because I don't understand why people don't know how to act in a public place as if they've never seen a woman work out before. I don't know. And I would have cut that out of the vlog had I noticed it in the mirror. Um, honestly, I was looking at myself in my form and whatever before I had uploaded it. But I'm glad in a way that you got to see that because that's my reality of me going to the gym and actually being scared and having this gym anxiety of is this man going to be there? Is this guy actually staring at me or is it all in my head, right? And so I don't want you guys to experience that same um, creepy energy from guys in the gym. And I had mentioned this, I feel like deja vu maybe like two weeks ago when I was doing another leg day and this creepy guy was literally walking circles around me as I was on the cable machine doing my kickbacks and my squats to the point where I had to stop and again leave the gym it shouldn't be this pattern of me having to cut my workout so short um, and then having to leave the gym or me not even wanting to go to the gym because these dudes are there that are just on some weird stuff like I don't understand what to do and I don't know if I should say something to this person or these people when these incidents occur um, I don't know if I should tell someone at the front desk I don't know if I should continue to do what I'm doing and leave the gym I mean I literally will run into the bathroom stay there for maybe 10 minutes and hope that they leave or go to a different area of the gym and then I always do that and I come back and then they're back working out right next to me and it's just really scary because you don't know these people you don't know their intentions you don't know if they're recording you granted I was vlogging and that guy was in my video but that's different I feel um, but I do try to remove myself from those situations when I feel uncomfortable like I'll stop doing whatever said I'm doing pick up my phone start scrolling if I notice that they're staring at me or they're walking up towards me and trying to get closer like I don't know like it's just weird it's weird I'm scared <laughs> so someone had said oh girl I hope that you reported that guy I didn't like my thing is like I know this is so dumb but I don't want to be a snitch like what if I have to see the guy again what if he sees me saying something like who do I even tell the fact that I have to even tell somebody hey this guy's staring at me like that sounds so stupid like I don't know like this it's just a dumb situation and my mom even said you need to you need to say something but like I don't know guys it was the fact that that guy was in my vlog and you also saw it too and that kind of made me feel like okay maybe I'm not going crazy and I mean I don't like to have people in my videos because again like I'm usually very aware of who's around me when I'm recording respecting people's privacy but on the other hand it's a public place like 
if that guy's in the back of my video acting gross, I'm sure someone else might have also seen that as well. So do I really feel that bad about that situation? Probably not. And the fact that he was staring at me, he probably didn't think I could see him because that day I had a mask on. I was literally incognito. I had my hat. He probably couldn't see my eyes and just saw me as not even a person, just a body, just there, you know? The fact that he was like biting his fist, it was disgusting and he was like rubbing on his chest like in a public place, in a public place. It's disgusting. So, I don't know if I see that guy again, like, I don't know, like I don't want him to like follow me home some like I don't know these people's intentions and that's the thing like when you are young you are going places by yourself you do need to be very aware of your surroundings you do need to make sure that you are watching yourself in the parking lots of these places and lock your doors like you always tell me I thank you guys for you know protecting me in situations to always lock my door and make sure that I am aware of everything that is going on around me because you just don't know it's a scary freaking place out here so you guys also need to be very careful very aware and cautious of your surroundings especially if you're a young woman and you do go places by yourself even during the day just as much as you should be aware at nighttime um it's just like these days you just don't know and i don't want to deal with the like confrontation of me saying something and i don't know it backfiring like that's just me and like i'm always like concerned like oh no like he's probably a nice guy like i don't know like my mind just doesn't work i don't know i don't know i'm just overthinking things right now but Anyway, I'm gonna probably not upload this, um, but part of me should because it's like a PSA. The fact that a man literally sat on a bench and stared at me while I was trying to do my squats. I'm not a freaking circus. Like, no, I'm not gonna perform for you. That's disgusting. It's about that time for me to get my butt up out the car. My mom basically said, yeah, you should definitely say something or if you feel uncomfortable and you see him, just come back in about an hour i shouldn't have to come back the thing is i didn't do anything wrong so if i catch this fool staring at me again and if he's in there girl you better start practicing what you're gonna say <clears throat> can i help you like honestly like what do i need to do to scare you off like let me get my medea voice ready <laughs> sorry guys my humor is a mess i try to make light of weird and awkward situations um and i try to find a way to laugh through them to make them less hard on myself get your big old ass out of here why are you staring at me bitch the fuck <laughs> can i help you <laughs> like what do i need to do what do i need to do to have some peace and quiet while i try to grow a booty like is it the peach that you're looking at like thank you but no i'm good so i came to whole or not whole foods wegmans and i finally found the olipops i'm also getting chicken because i don't like to cook protein and some kids hat ties so we get some oat milk they don't have the poppy drinks so i don't know maybe i'll find them somewhere else have you guys ever tried this cbd Tangerine sparkling water. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Alright, so I got the last Oatly oat milk, the one that's not full fat. I find that the full fat is just too thick, especially for protein shakes. I'm also grabbing these pumpkin spice waffles. Cozy vibes. Um, but I'm excited to try this out. W plus CBD, 25 milligrams tangerine juice, sparkling water. These little type of drinks are so fun. I'm kind of obsessed. All right, I don't really need to get anything else. Everything else is just fun stuff. But I haven't been to Wegmans in so long. Honestly, it's expensive. These potatoes were 99 cents for one. A little baby potato. Trader Joe's would never. Bro, I'm gonna get myself <laughs> in trouble. 
Oh my god, their shots are three fifty each. No, I'm not doing that. Trader Joe's one ninety nine. A scam. So they have all the Daya pizzas. Okay, they have a really good selection of plant-based items here. And for that, it's a 10 out of 10. I wonder if they have my pizza bites. Let me look for those. Anyway, I'm getting a pizza. <laughs> Figured I'd do a shop with me. I'm gonna have this today because there's no room in the freezer. But I wanna see what other like vegan snacks they have. All the Ezekiel bread. Okay, Wegmans, we see you out here. This is why I don't go to Wegmans. It is so freaking expensive. Each of those drinks I got, look, I don't know how much they were at Target, but I feel like it's not $2.50 each. I spent $70. Oh my God. The chicken I got though, that was like 17. But still, I'm gonna give you guys a haul. I'm gonna make food when I get home too because I'm freaking hungry. Um so freaking hungry and it's supposed to rain it's super gloomy and humid and hot it's just very bipolar weather this week honestly so i'm gonna go see you guys back at the house we're gonna do a little wegman's haul the first and the last because <laughs> no nah, that's that's too expensive i'm out of breath I keep forgetting things I'm having to like run and sprint up the stairs Took all the pups out before it starts to rain a little bit. So I have my oven preheating I want to give you guys a little haul since this is my first time at Wegmans and Everything is so expensive. First of all I used to shop at Wegmans when I was in college and I tried to use my phone number and I said this does not work so I need to get one of those like membership cards. I think my mom's went through, girl, I don't know. But I'm gonna actually have this Daya deliciously dairy-free thin crust gluten-free pizza. It's like a Supreme style. I've had this before, but it says new improved recipe, so I don't know if I've actually had this one before. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in and eat the whole thing. It says there's four servings in this. Houseway how? <laughs> It's such a small pizza. They're lying to the people. Um, so one fourth of the pizza is 310 calories. That does not sound right to me. This is like, what is that? Three times four? 1,200, maybe 1,300 calories? I don't know if that's accurate, you guys. But there's some veggies on here, so I can't be mad. So... I don't know that just seems like a lot of calories for this so anyway i'm gonna have that now because there's no room in the freezer and i need to clean out my little shelf that i have like some things that aren't that fresh that need to go i got these organic strawberries they smell so good like fresh from the farm so i want to do a nice healthy dessert which maybe i'll show you guys in this video how i make that super easy super simple minimal ingredients um i do like berries they're very expensive right now this was six dollars so i just stuck with those and because i got all of these olipops and everything it was really expensive so i might try and just get them on amazon now the olipops <laughs> i've mentioned this in like my last vlog i think it was they have a very like stevia aftertaste but i find that i kind of crave these like i'm craving this vintage cola flavor right now so i actually ended up getting two of these i do like them if you don't mind the stevia aftertaste then you might love these as well i do love the fact that these are high in fiber and they also help to support your digestive <coughs> digestive health so for the health benefits i'm all about these i do really love the strawberry vanilla flavor this is probably my favorite one plus the packaging honestly gets me every time so i like to kind of stock up on like a beverage and I find that I like them because they are bubbly and like fizzy and I don't drink sodas but sometimes I want something like that in the middle of the day um, as a special treat I'm also really curious about this W plus CBD I showed you dolls this in the store they had like a watermelon flavor some other ones as well and this is just a naturally flavored sparkling water and this is the Weller brand again really nice packaging i've never tried a cbd drink honestly your girl could use one today with my anxiety um but this is zero calories 
These Olipops are like 35. So let me know what you guys think if you guys have tried those. I'm not sure the price of that. And I only could get my hands on one of these poppy drinks. It seems to be the most popular flavor at Target and Wegmans. And I just love this flavor so much. I had one last night. It's just very refreshing. I feel like for summertime, this is definitely gonna be like my go-to like every day, like Trader Joe's um, strawberry soda who? <laughs> Honestly, I haven't been able to find those either so this honestly has taken the place and this has more benefits to it And it's only 20 calories, which is nothing um, And it has your prebiotics, so I'm all about the good gut health So I got those and they have a lot of like hot food. They have sushi bar They do like the deli. I didn't really get a chance to vlog all that But if you want to get pre-made food family style, they have all of that as well I made sure to check the label on here and this doesn't have any like butter or dairy, right? May contain, no, it doesn't have anything. Cool, so this one is just lemon pepper chicken. Probably get three meals out of this and I don't really like cooking my protein, honestly. Mm, do I really have the energy to clean up after that mess? No, thank you. So, I don't know, maybe because I just don't feel comfortable cooking in this kitchen fully yet. I don't know what it is, but if I can just have my protein pre-made or have my dad make it for me and all I have to do is heat up the sides, we're Gucci over here. So I'll have that probably for dinner time. And then I got some fun stuff. There must be a freaking shortage, shortage of Oatly oat milk in the Nova area because I can never find it at the store. And I got the last one, so blessed, so thankful, of the original Oatly. And this is my favorite, the light blue container. I think the dark blue one, the full fat, is a little bit too thick. And I don't love it for like cereal. I don't really love it for my protein shakes. I feel like it's just too thick of a consistency and I'm not the biggest fan of it for my coffees either. So this is definitely my go-to and I definitely need to stock up whenever I see some more of it. I also got some minced garlic just to help my life out. I want to do some um, dishes with this and of course I didn't feel like chopping it um, myself and smelling like garlic. I picked up some avocados. I'm like really in the vibe of having avos. I got some that are like barely ripe and then you know i can eat it over the next few days so i can't wait to have some avocado in my life this week oh you guys maybe it's because i went to wegmans um straight after the gym and i'm like hungry right now but i got a lot of like naughty things but is it really because it's gluten-free <laughs> Have you guys had these? I think I've seen them before and I've never tried them out. These are like allergy friendly, you guys. I love to see it. Nut free, gluten free, soy free, which is great for me. I'm not a huge fan of having soy because of my skin. Dairy free and peanut free. So I'm so excited. This goes in the freezer, I believe, and there's six donuts. They also have vanilla glazed, maple glazed, and cinnamon sugar, which I could only find the chocolate. So I really want to try these. Maybe I'll do a taste test for you guys in this video. I feel like that'll be really fun. Um, I love the Whole Foods vegan donuts, but I think they got rid of them because of um, the panorama. Like it wasn't sanitary to go in and grab those donuts. So I haven't been able to find those either. So I think this might be a good replacement. I definitely want to try that out. Um, I don't want to spoil my appetite right now though. And then I got these pumpkin spice waffles. I think this will be my next replacement for oatmeal. For pre-workout, I like to have something carb-based, especially for leg day when I'm going to be doing a lot of weight. Um, and I love these. Something about this gloomy weather right now. I'm like, ooh, cozy vibes. So I'm excited to have those. I like to switch up my breakfast options so I don't get bored of eating the same thing. And honestly, I think I'm tired of eating oats right now. <laughs> I don't want to say that, but girl. And then I just got some potatoes as another carb source. And these were a dollar each. So a scam. Honestly, Trader Joe's is better for produce in my experience. it's You can get the biggest potato. It doesn't matter. It's still going to be like 70 cents. Or you can get the smallest one. It's still going to be 70 cents. So I, I don't know. This I wouldn't go and get produce there. But I had a nice variety. So I, I don't know. I like that location. I went to the one in Woodbridge at the, I keep forgetting the name, Potomac, Potomac Shopping Center, whatever the heck. If you guys are in Nova, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. So I'm going to put my pizza in the oven and I'll probably pop back in later on today. And I do want to try this 
free bars, taste test it. And I wanna have this for dessert um, today as well, so we'll taste test those. And I will probably come back and do my dessert with my strawberries and show you guys what I'll be having for that because I need to get my food in for the day. What time is it? Oh, three o'clock. Yeah, we need to eat. We gotta eat. Find this pan. I don't know what kind of vlog this is. It's not a full what I eat in a day. I don't even vlog at the gym. Like, I was trying to hurry up and get my workout in. Let me just say that much. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Now, all y'all need to go take a nap. Because I got to clean up and y'all can't be in the way. You hear me? Ooh. I hope this pizza is like really good. I didn't think it was bad before. So I'm interested to see if there's actually a difference. Maybe it's the cheese that they changed up. Um, I guess we'll find out, huh? I'm sorry, but how is this pizza 1300 calories? It must be the cheese. It has to be. Okay, I put that in and then I gotta turn off the fridge. I gotta clean the house before my mom gets home. Although it's already clean, but she's like, girl, better be clean when I get home. Girl, it's already clean. What, what do I need to clean? Help me understand. <laughs> Help me understand. Are your parents like that too? All right. Oh, I was gonna log this pizza because I just don't believe that one slice is freaking 300 and something calories. Sometimes those labels, I'm sorry, are wrong. Sometimes they are. So. One container. <gasps> it really is 1,240 calories for this whole pe Okay, shout out bulking. But oh my God, 44 grams of fat. See, that's where they get you. Only 24 grams of protein. 180 carbs. Well, I worked out and burned a lot of cows, so we should be okay, but that's crazy. Ooh, that, we can't be eating that every day. No, ma'am. I've already, oh my God, after I eat that, I've already had 1,400 cows for the day. All right, guys, I'm gonna clean up the house, wait for this pizza, and then I'll come back and do these. Actually, let's just taste this CBD, because I am a little chill in my life right now. <laughs> Not even gonna lie. See how this is. Oh, it's a clear color. Smells like orange. Tangerine vibes. Mmm, it tastes like a regular uh, sparkling water. Oh, has an interesting aftertaste. This is good. It almost tastes like a mixed cocktail with gin or something. Like the aftertaste is giving me that vibe. I don't know. Well, I guess I'll keep vlogging throughout the day and we can see how chill I actually get. <laughs> oh, that's my mom probably asking me if I cleaned up yet. Hola. Hey, how was your workout? It was good and I saw that guy. Guess what? He brought his wife and kid. Isn't that a mess? I know, it's crazy. These guys are weird. But I just got back from Wegman, so I'm gonna clean the fridge because I need to clean my, my shelf out. And then I'm gonna clean the house. All right, let me know how it goes. I like this, this is really nice. It has a nice smooth taste. It says zero sugar, obviously. It says on here, focused and chilled. So since I don't have my gas, we're gonna have to settle for some CBD, I think, out in these streets. I know, I'm lazy. I don't like to find pizza cutter and then have to clean that, so I'm just gonna use a regular um, knife. I'm gonna try this pizza and see if there's a difference in taste. I'm sure it's just a cheese or something. Cheers, I was too lazy to cut it, don't judge me.
I don't know, it tastes the same. I mean, all this seasoning I put on here is bomb. Without it, it wouldn't have much flavor. I will say my only thing about this pizza is there's not really that many toppings other than the cheese. But it's good. It does the trick for those lazy days when you don't want to like actually cook a whole meal. And if you're trying to bulk, a lot of calories, but it's higher in fat if you're going to eat the whole thing like me. Guys, let me just give you an update. I think this stuff definitely makes you chilled. Um, I ate my pizza and I was watching a YouTube and I, I obviously have things I need to do. I already started cleaning up the kitchen and stuff. And I'm like, okay, we need to get up so we can go clean the bathrooms. And I literally couldn't get up. And I'm just staring at my computer like really focused. And it's this. I'm like, this, I actually feel an effect. I'm very calm right now. So I just wanted to pop in and give you guys an update on that. I think I'll definitely buy these again. I want to try some different flavors um, of these just to see which one I obviously like better. And the fact that it is zero calorie, it's nice. I... I highly recommend you guys pick these up. I don't know where else you can get them, but I did find them obviously at Wegmans today. <laughs> I, I'm a mess. I'm literally just like staring like so into the YouTube and I never, ever, ever have time to sit and watch YouTube, but I'm like, okay, I need to get up. But I was like up and I was stuck. <laughs> so I thought that was funny. And I only had maybe like a third of the can. It's nice. I am going to try this, but I can't try it right now because it's frozen. So I'm like, how the heck do I eat this? So it says that you should enjoy it thawed or for a better taste, pop it in the microwave for 15 seconds or so. I don't know. It's chocolate glaze, so I don't really want to melt it too much. Uh, but they are like a very medium size, not like a mini donut or a regular size. I would say somewhere in between. And there's six in each box. They look good for the fact that they are free of all of these things, not sponsored. It also says it's free from preservatives, artificial flavors, and artificial colors. So let's see the ingredients list. Very minimal. You guys can see that. So yeah, I guess I could put it in the microwave for a quicker taste test. But I'm excited. I definitely love my donuts. And this is like a Kayla portion, perfect size. Just a little bit to kick that craving. Oh, and it's 210 cows, so perfect for bulky. <laughs> I love to see it. I love to see it. F it. Let's just put it in the microwave. I'm impatient. Oh, yeah. I put some water in here so I can make some tea. Forgot about that. All right, so I'm about to get this vlog out for you guys, and then I'm gonna go watch Floribama Shore, because guess what, I have two episodes that I need to catch up on. So I just put this in the microwave for 15 seconds. I don't know if I was supposed to thaw it out thoroughly, then microwave it for better taste, or just microwave it to thaw it. Um, the icing didn't really melt. So I hope it's not hard as a rock in the middle, but cheers, I have high hopes for this. It smells like a regular donut. Mmm. It looks like a regular donut. And it tastes like a regular donut. It's like perfect amount of like chocolate. And also it's like the perfect size. Mmm. <laughs> I'm having a cheat day today. Oh my god, so good. I'm gonna definitely buy those again. In fact, I'm gonna try all the other flavors. You keep them in the freezer too, so you can always pick one whenever you want. Oh my god, it's so yummy. And I just made some mint tea. I had no business eating that full pizza. <laughs> it's just very fatty. It wasn't bad or anything, but I don't usually eat stuff like that. But today, I guess I was having a lazy day. I don't know what it is. Also, Still have a few sips of this and um I am so chill today. Like I'm zen. I'm loving these. These are amazing. So I'm not gonna actually get around to doing that strawberry dessert in this video. Catch me tomorrow. <laughs>